So guys, we are back with another How Divers 2 video and today guys, I bring you the latest greatest news surrounding the game, brand new leaks and much much more. And before we go any further guys, the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credits giveaway you can see on the screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord, link down below to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of How Divers 2? It's as simple as this. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. It would be amazing if you could reach 15 likes. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and drop me a comment down below. I will pick a winner from the comments section and announce them on tomorrow's How Divers 2 videos. So good luck, everybody. Okay, so today guys, we have quite a lot to go through, but first things first, I want to just quickly talk about the current state of this game. I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't play it for like three or four days straight. I was having major issues with the game crashing due to the arc weapons. I went back on the game last night and it's just as bad. I don't know what's going on. It was barely playable for me. You've seen a bit of gameplay footage on screen now. This is like one of... 10 games i tried to join where things were just laggy things were not working and then getting kicked and the game was crashing and it was really doing my head in i went on the official discord uh, asked a few people there some people are having this issue some people ain't so yeah it's a bit of a pain in the ass but arrowhead need to work and get this game in a state where it's playable because i know i ain't the only one who's suffering and yeah, it's just really putting me off trying to play the game as of right now. So yes, updates are needed. I don't care how long they take. Just get this game fixed and when it's in a working state where players can enjoy it. And the problems the game is having is no doubt a reflection on the current, uh, well, concurrent players that are actually playing the game now. I think it's at like an all-time low of like 60, 70,000 players, which isn't the worst. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's still pretty good, but the game is no doubt out of hope for many, many players who have got to that max level don't know if they want to do it they're probably playing other games waiting for new content which i don't blame them other players like myself just can't play at the minute because of crashing which is no doubt affecting the concurrent players too so yeah but either or guys if it's content players are waiting for before they jump back on there's a bright future ahead of this game as long as they can get it working or in a good working state uh, so we've covered many many leaks of future content and there's lots of it coming and today guys we push on to further new content Okay, so let's start. And first up, we have these new images of an automaton gunship spawner. This is dropped on Reddit, or this was dropped on Reddit by Forerunner Law. So credit to this dude. Now, this is an absolute weapon of a machine. It really is. And this will spawn those gunships. Now, these gunships are something I uh, covered in a video yesterday where we saw these red and black textured gunships, which look absolutely incredible. And I actually feel these will be a part of a new planet we will have to liberate probably sooner than later with how good and structured these models are inside of these game files. So yes, this is the automaton gunship spawn. I expect to see this on a planet near you sometime soon. Next up, guys, we have a few other images of that new uh, objective I covered yesterday, which is called the Orbital Cannon. This will be a new objective on a planet to come. It's a pretty big ass cannon for sure. It's actually an automaton orbital cannon objective. So whatever we've got to do with this thing, who knows? It's probably we prepare it, we initiate it to help us against the automaton. Hey, probably as an objective to take down that gunship spawner. Who knows, guys, but this is a part of a new objective coming to the game. And again, credit to 4 Runner Law for this one. It is pretty big, but we get some new images of it, which you're seeing on screen now. Okay, so next up, guys, we have future upgrade modules for our super destroyers. Now, these are credit to Iron Sights, the legendary leaker and data miner. If you want to check him out and show him some love, his Twitter is linked down below. He dropped these on Reddit yesterday. These are the Super Destroyer Cannon Modules. Now, a bit more information on these. There's going to be two of these. They'll be located near the front of your ships, near the turrets. They're pretty big. They're about one and a half the size of a Bio Titan. And it seems as though there's some kind of burst fire rail cannon. So yeah, pretty cool guys. But they do look monstrous and I cannot wait to see these on the front of our Super Destroyers. Badass. Okay, so we're going to move on guys. And now we have, thanks to Iron Sights again, animations for the illuminate enemies we have a couple here today to check out first up guys we see the illusionist illuminate enemy which is doing some kind of weird dance which i'm terrified of I'm not sure what this thing's gonna do in game 
Now, if you're unsure of the Illuminate data were a Helldivers 1 faction and then making a return to Helldivers 2, it's just now a matter of time before these things hit the game. But the Illusionist is one you don't want to mess around with. So a bit of a backstory and a little bit of details on this guy. Illusionists are highly revered amongst the Squiff and have the ability to control other sentient beings with nanobot technology. Frontline soldiers have reported hallucinations and ill will to fight and general apathy when fighting these perverse witches. Now these are predominantly found on medium to high level planets and illusionists can teleport onto the battlefield alone wherever observers and watchers have raised an alarm to warn of a Helldiver's presence. So yes, these are the illusionists and no doubt we will see them in game sometime soon. Okay, so we're going to move on guys and next up we have this tripod illuminate. Again, this again was another Helldivers 1 enemy. Now there is one enemy here from the illuminate that weren't a part of Helldivers 1, which we'll cover in a quick second. But a tripod is a monstrosity of an enemy, an illuminate enemy. And it's kind of weird to see it from this angle having looking at the Helldivers 1 variant of this dude. Now we see here just like a sidestep shuffle dance and then falls over at the very end. But yeah, these guys are pretty big and a bit of a backstory on them. Three-legged fighting machines under Illuminate Command. Tripods utilize electrostatic technology to subdue and torture their victims. These robotic units are somewhat of a wicked robotic counterpart of their aquatic masters. So yeah, pretty badass. And again, expect them in game sometime soon. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Illuminate Ghoul animations. Now, these were originally thought to be big old dirty monsters, a lot like the Ogres from Destiny. But actually guys, these have been resized according to Iron Sights to be much smaller and faster and extremely volatile, which is terrifying. So these won't be big anymore. These were small little chases that would no doubt run at you, swiping at you. So yeah, absolutely terrifying. Now these, as far as I'm aware, were not a part of How Divers 1 in regards to the Illuminate enemy faction. If they were, I could find no details on them and left have been renamed. I'm not too sure about that. But either or guys, these are the ghoul. I mean, the animation sees them coming out the ground and then no doubt just running towards you and swiping at you with their forearms. So yeah, pretty cool guys. Uh, okay, so to end the video, we have more confirmation of weapon customization again. Thanks to Iron Sights who hit me up on my Discord and sent me this image we're seeing right here. Now what these showcase are variables for attachments that are in the game files for individual weapons. Now we have covered weapon customization on multiple occasions in regards to these leaks and data mine videos. Uh, this just adds fuel to that fire. Eventually guys, we will see weapon customization. It's going to be a planned feature. I don't think we'll see it for now probably a couple months away at least but hey weapon customization will no doubt be a part of how divers in the future so yes guys as i said at the start of the video there's plenty of content to come for this game it's just a matter of time hopefully they can get the game in a good working state before much of this new content is added but we will see guys we will see but there we have it for another how divers 2 video guys if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one